It is much clearer tonight. Times are tough at Charlotte Mecklenburg schools, and that could trickle down to the classroom. News Channel 36 reporter Tony Burbeck took our mobile newsroom to the Education Center uptown. The reality of it is do more with less. Perhaps a lot less, depending upon how much CMS needs cut. The first round of potential cuts this summer eliminates 690 jobs, so CMS can save $55 million right away. This will impact teachers. Principals are now looking over their staffs, figuring out who stays and who goes. It would mean fewer teachers doing more work, grading more tests, and dealing with more parents. If budget woes continue, additional cuts would come in tears. Another 545 jobs, 371 of those teachers, Teachers could be let go to help save CMS another $24 million. This will impact instruction. As in more kids per class, especially in third and sixth through ninth grades. Cuts are also expected in administration, assistant principals, building maintenance, textbooks, school law enforcement, transportation, language, and technical training. CMS improved in 12 of 14 performance tests last year. If that changes in tough economic times. I just don't think the public's going to let us use these, you know, the uh, explanation that well. We had less money. We, we can try to use that as an explanation. Our board won't accept it. The county commission won't accept it. The public won't accept it. But more importantly, a parent doesn't care about that answer. So what about all that stimulus money helping out? Well, Superintendent Gorman says he doesn't know how much, if any, CMS will get or when it might get it. And he is operating as if that number is zero. Now, you might remember the county wants him to shave $5 million from this year's budget. Well, Gorman says no, he isn't ready to say where those cuts are coming from. Live now from Edit Bay 16, Tony Burbeck, News Channel 36.